In this video, I'm gonna share with you my Etsy results for October. So on Etsy, I've created a shop called Craig's Creative Shop. And over there, I've focused on book cover design. Now, I know it might not necessarily be extremely suitable for Etsy, but I wanted to lean into a niche where I've got expertise and maybe I can outperform what's already out there. And so because it's quite a smaller niche over there, I don't necessarily get sales every month. And that's what we saw in October. But first I wanna show you a quick look at my shop. And so this is my shop over on Etsy. So recently I added this lovely big header here where I can show off some of my book covers. And then if we scroll down, I've got my featured items up there. And then we've got a nice tab over here where you can select your genre. So I've got some fantasy book covers, some romance book covers, sci-fi, young adult, etc. Here's an example of one I made for Christmas. So you've got a lovely winter themed Christmas romance one here. And then how these pre-mades work is if someone likes a book cover, they'll purchase it and then I'll just update that book title and author name. So whilst this is an Etsy video, it also links well into Amazon KDP. And that's because it's providing affordable ebook covers for self-publishers. And so that was my aim with Etsy, is to try and you know, provide a service that's useful to self-publishers out there who might watch this channel. But if we come onto my shop manager, we can have a look at what October looked like on Etsy. So coming over to the stats for the month, I had 263 visits, but received no orders and no revenue. But if we compare that to October of last year, you can see that the visits has increased, which is good, and the orders are pretty similar. Now, as mentioned, it's a bit of an interesting niche for Etsy, and some of you out there have actually told me that Etsy isn't the right place for pre-made book covers. But thanks to a little tool called Everbee that I utilize, I know that there is some search volume. So as I've shown you before, Everbee is a little plugin that sits within your browser, and then it's got this tool here on the left-hand side. And so if we come onto keyword research, we can do a search for pre-made book cover and see the volume of searches per month and the amount of competition. So we can see here there's an estimated 38 searches a month for pre-made book covers. Now, that's not many. But if we search for something again like book cover design, there's a few more. So this one here, book cover designers, book cover design, there's 340 odd searches per month. Now, I think that's enough for me because there's not that much competition. So what I'm actually going for on Etsy, you know, it's not mass sales. My book covers might sell for $30, $40, $50, and then my custom book cover design are around $100. And so it's a bit of a higher price point, so I only need to make one to two sales a month in order to be profitable over there. And if we look for book cover design over on Etsy, we can see that my custom book cover design here is ranking number one. And then my most recent Christmas pre-made book cover is ranking number three. And so going for something with less search volume, less competition, what I've found is it gives you a better chance to rank higher in the search results. And that gives me some hope that over the longer term, you know, especially ranking organically for search terms, that this shop can be a success. Now, as I showed you, I didn't make any orders for the month, but I didn't break even either. So coming over to the finances, if we have a look at October, we can see that I made zero sales, but I actually spent almost 17 pounds on marketing and just over four pounds on fees. So unfortunately, my net for the month was actually minus 21 pounds and 37 pence. And if you're creating loads of listings and using Etsy ads, this is a very real possibility over on Etsy, but you can also have bad months and that's a bit of what this was. But if we zoom out over the past year, this is what my profit looks like over time. And so you can see at the beginning, I was just getting going. And then around May of this year is when I started to see some bigger orders come in. And October, yeah, I've seen a little dip. But as you zoom out and look at this graph, you can see that that's okay. And then as we keep going, hopefully those orders are gonna start coming in again. So across 2024 so far, I've received 775 pounds in income, spent 78 pounds in ads, 138 pounds in fees, which means my take home profit for 2024 on Etsy so far is 558 pounds. Now I know it's not a huge figure, but as with Amazon KDP, it's about building, it's about scaling, it's about ranking organically for those search terms. So hopefully I can continue to build on this for the rest of the year and into 2025. 
But if you're worried about your shop, if you're not getting the orders that you're looking for, make sure to check out Everbee because it's got some great product analysis and keyword research tools. You can find a link for that down in the description below. Okay, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel to see how my Etsy journey continues. Will it be a viable platform to continue in 2025? Maybe I'll pivot somewhere else. If you wanna find out, make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Right, that's it for this video. If you wanna try out Everbee for yourself, you can get a free trial by clicking the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one.